20-year sibling rivalry, Mario and Luigi team up using synchronized super moves in their most ridiculous adventure ever. Let's go! Okie dokie! Definitively that this is the end because there's nothing left to do. I mean there's things that we could be doing, but there's nothing left that I feel like doing. <laughs> we are at the end of the game. Uh, last time we cleaned up some side things. We finished up the last area for Bowser. We also fought a I mean for the for the brothers. We also fought a uh, we also also fought Peach's Castle. And that was cool and great and awesome. We got uh, Mario and Luigi to rainbow rank, and then I made the executive decision to not do the same for Bowser, because he's he we would have to get him to 40. And you simply must understand how long that would take, and how minimal the, the benefits of doing so would be. Um, A max syrup jar? I'm sorry, a max syrup jar? It's called max syrup jar. It gets you to 40 SP. <laughs> Just gonna use a star candy, screw that. I should've used a star candy from Bowser too. Um, but this time, we have only our enemies left to confront, and then it's over. I have thoroughly enjoyed my time here. I am, I was, I'm very, I feel very, uh, Validated in my in my thoughts in, in, in my previous uh, sort of impression that I got for the, of this game after playing it so much when I was younger. The game's actually amazing, and it and it absolutely deserves to be amongst my my favorites. Um, I, it definitely does the Mario and Luigi series justice in a way that it honestly feels like a lot of the other ones sort of failed to do for a lot of people. Uh, it's interesting to note that, you know, Mario and Luigi, as well received as it feels overall, many of the games don't really seem to actually sit very well with people, generally speaking. Progress in time, uh, Dream Team sort of feeling a little bit meandering, a little bit uh, repetitive, um, and then obviously Paper Jam going in the, sadly, going in the uh, ge <laughs> ge generic sort of modern Paper Mario direction, you know? And yet, here we have it, Bowser's Inside Story, an amazing installment in it. Um, I think this game easily sits above, next to Superstar Saga. Um, and I, and I, again, I was shocked at the quality of Superstar Saga and how much I enjoyed it throughout its entire runtime. These two games are kind of uh, the best of the best for Mario RPGs. They, they both, I feel like both of these entries 100% sit next to Mario RPG, Thousand Year Door, and the likes, you know? Um, but with that, before we get started, if you have been enjoying this or anything else on this channel so far, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notified of more things in the future. Episodes of this just about every single day. Links in the description of things that I am doing, have been doing, will be doing in the future. Um, also, me and my friend are making a game. Any and all support towards that would be much appreciated. You can support us by supporting any of the channels, supporting the Double Extremes, streams, and most of all supporting the Patreon. With that, let's keep going. To the end. Um, yeah, do we... Are the brothers set up? Is, is Mario... No. 
I think I just give Mario the... The DX Power Gloves, right? And then I think I gave Luigi the Delicious Gloves. I think that just is good for him. Uh, yeah, and then Bowser, Power Band, Block Band. Kinda just great, kinda just good. I just kind of like the raw stats for Bowser. Um, oh, I could have. <laughs> there was one idea. I could have just used that to uh, help me out a little bit. Oh, well. I think we're going to the boardroom right there. I think that's where we saw Fawful flying to last. Funny, they, they didn't actually give you much direction. Um, here we go. Fuffly do. Where are you? Dark Star needing you. Dark Power, you who? Where to find you? Hey. Shock at you, you are surviving. Fawful hates you. <laughs> what, you thought your little castle bot would crush me? Well, it did. Uh, Bowser, to me, <laughs> in his defense, it did crush you. Who do you think I am, buddy? I'm Bowser the Koopa King. But I am Lord Fawful. I am ruling the world. It's funny. I'm gonna crack open this smoothie really quick. It's funny. Fawful, in fact, has not gotten close to ruling the world. <laughs> the pathetic state of Fawful, as he exists, is that time and time again, <laughs> just like when he was teamed up with Kakleta, he cannot withstand the sheer chaotic insanity that is the Mushroom Kingdom crew. He couldn't withstand it when it was Mario and Luigi, and he can't he can't withstand it when it's literally just Bowser. Because think about this too: Mario and Luigi have not met Fawful face to face. They have been inside they have been inside of Bowser anytime Fawful has been around. It's actually almost a shame because I would have loved to see Fawful's interactions with the brothers after all this time, especially seeing how angry he was in Partners in Time. Um, but at the same time, it is kind of hilarious to see that it's like, well, okay, Fawful, can you withstand just the sheer, like, horrifying might of Bowser, so of, of solo Bowser? And it's like, no, evidently not. No matter how hard Fawful has tried to literally kill Bowser, it has failed every single time. And now, now he's just, now he's as furious with Bowser alone as he was with the brothers. Um, it's kind of hilarious. And then there's also some very interesting turns this is going to take, but let's keep going. Please, try again in about a hundred years, you weird little babbling nerd. I have chortles. You are underestimating Fawful, who has a suction machine for draining the dark power. Fawful only got half the power, but I am thinking it is enough to KO you, the king of stupid. You have gotten in Fawful's way at each of the turns. Just like the red and green mustaches who I hate. Fawful hates your faces. Don't let me in with Mario. But now. Fawful says farewell to all your fink rat faces forever. Bowser, meet. Heck yeah. It would have been cool if Fawful had his own theme, but that's okay. Uh, I mean, he can't dodge Broggy, right? I mean, Bro Broggy jumps up and tackles, right? Oh, hold on. No, it stuck to his head. I have a feeling, yeah, I have a feeling that would work just yet. Dark Fawful. <laughs> Incredible naming conventions. Uh, let's find out if it, if it works. Freaking Broggy is expensive, though. 
I should actually do the one that, like, makes Bowser's moves less, uh, expensive. Cut them in half by, like, 30 or something. Oh, yep. And the bloody is getting crit, too. How much damage? <laughs> oh my gosh. sounds he makes. Um, okay, let's... Let's hit the guy on top. So I learned that with this one, you really just have to go really fast. Up and hit someone. I don't, I don't think he dodges for being in the air. Can't really fight flying enemies in Bowser, to be fair. Nice. Oh, your rashness. This battle is fraught with danger, sir. Allow us to protect you, sir. The Goomba Corpse is trained for situations like this. Oh, oh, boys! Turn us loose, and this mangy dog will feel a savage bonking unlike anything he's trapped. This crow doesn't merit your attention, sir. Unleash us, and we'll take care of everything. Oh. Oh. I understand. Ow. That freaking hurt. Okay, boys. I'll have to keep that in mind for next time. Luigi do get to be a part of this fight, as they should, as they ought to. Uh, no, it will dodge our arrow grounded attacks. We know that much. I love that Starlo gets to be part of the final attack. There we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, no. Oi. Hey, no, I like that one. I use that one a lot. Huh. Oh. Huh. Okay, stop it. Oh, it damaged it. Oh, did that do it? Oh my gosh. Star candies. Was, this is use your stuff. You know what I mean.
That attack's pretty fun. I like that attack. Okay, Goomba boys, let's get some redemption, because I I did not know the attack was going and that I needed to be punching you at him. Good heavens. I'm gonna punch you this time. That's 111 damage. Oh, and then it, then it ends. Good to know. Defeated Fable, huh? What a joke! That guy was too weak to even call an enemy. Dang. <laughs> I wonder if Fable will behave himself now. Wait, speaking of, Fable sucked up some of the dark power, right? Yeah, it looked like it. Why? What of it? Oh, I've got a bad feeling about this. Bad? Why? So both Fable and Dark Bowser have some dark power within them. So if 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 Dark Bowser inhales what remains a Fawful, the Dark Power will finally be whole. And if it adds that to that, or if it adds that Dark Power to the abilities that it copied from you, oh yeah, that'd be bad. <laughs> He's still too weak to be called my enemy, though. <laughs> if only that were true. I love. At the end of all things, and you know, here's the thing, right? At the end of all things, Fawful, who gets gets to be the villain of his own game, and still, just like he feared back in Superstar Saga, just like the fear he articulated back in Superstar Saga, he's just a side character. He's not the main event, and he never was, and he would never, he was never going to be. Once again, Fawful gets outshined by. Just somebody else. <laughs> He's always playing second fiddle. It's it's almost pathetic, you know? He's just reduced down to just anger, essentially. He's reduced down to, like, his base emotion. <laughs> Awake at last. The dark power is complete. Crud. 
Ah, uh, we're always a little late, aren't we? What's wrong? You're kidding me. Dark Bowser got Fawful? Yep, like five, like, like literally right when you said that, boom, got him on the spot. <laughs> Fake me ate Fawful. That whole bad feeling of yours came true. But that means that the Dark Power is now complete. All of your abilities along with the fully awakened Dark Power, Dark Bowser. This is the absolute worst case scenario. We have no choice but to fight. Fight Dark Bowser. <laughs> what do I care of some stoop about what do I care about some stupid wannabe me? I just want Princess Peach and maybe the Dark Power. Ah, Bowser. Not the hero anybody would have asked for, but the hero that we need. <laughs> We have 25. It's basically the only healing item we need at this point. Alright, gang. Pretty sure this is it. Oh, should we have gone and saved first? Oh well. I guess we have retry clock, so we never used one. <laughs> hey, no more running. Hand over Princess Peach in the Dark Power thingy. I have copied all that is you. You are no longer necessary. Oh, actually got him. Hey, where are you running? Come back here, you coward. Oh, <laughs> of course. I mean, we can't... They gotta let us do this at least at least two times before the game's up. to go do it again. No fail state. What a goofy little... Got him. Oh, that was like definitive. Oh, here we go. You can't escape, Mr. Runs a lot. Oh, Bowser, you're so smart. <laughs> He's just ahead. Long chase ends here and now. Oh. I think this is usually around the levels I would normally end at. I think I even said Bowser was even around 31 when I uh, ended the game. When I was checking my save data, my original save data. Alright. This is 
is where it ends. One of the coolest finale fights, a genuinely satisfying um, conclusion I've always felt. Uh, with one of the best final boss things, just, just period. Where did this stuff even come from? You finally ready to stop running and fight? The dark power slept so long, and now it wakes. Must be freed. Behold. Oh, look at the castle. Jeez. Oh no, look, everything is getting a little bit darker and generally evil. <laughs> Dark power windstorm? Talk about wimpy. This must be the final battle. I can feel the dark power emanating like crazy. Jippy, that you? Everything's going nuts out here. Wish you could see this scene. Listen, I have a favor to ask. Not a good time, Jippy. No, listen. When you face off in battle, don't forget you can count on us. Wait, what? We'll help you from in here. We'll all work together. Yeah, yeah. Wait, that's, did I just hear Mario and Green Stash? Uh-huh, that's right. I'm not alone in here. What was that? Yes, Mario and Luigi are in your body, too. I can barely hear with this wind. Hey, Chippy, come on, who else is in there? I'm still here. Oh, I like how that's great. How, like, the whole bottom screen, which is always. Like, Mario and Luigi and everybody, like, it's fully just gone now. I'm still here. As the dark power not crushed your puny hopes, soon this kingdom will vanish along with all who dwell within. You too will sleep eternally in the dark power's embrace. You want to like erase everything? It's not kind of eerie. <laughs> Great dark hurricane. Seriously, perfect backdrop for an awesome final battle. At least with the details. Listen up. You're saying the kingdom will vanish? Not today. This kingdom is all mine. So you vanish. Showtime. Yoko, you didn't have to go so hard. It was hard in the Luigi game, but but you know what? I mean, they always do go hard at the final on the, for the final boss themes. I don't know. I actually remember that. Oh, I should put the SP reduction. Oh, that's fine. You know, maybe there is something poetic about the amount of times we've had to fight Bowser in these ga in, in these RPGs. Maybe it is poetic that he. Pete's sake. 
got evil dark power I've got a dog dude <laughs> so goofy that we're having this like insane epic crazy intense dramatic battle and I'm like let me watch my dog really quick <laughs> Of course, I do love that Bowser gets to fight a, like a dark image of himself because th there is just poetry to that. But then the br the brothers get to fight, do get to fight Fawful at the end. I think we have to go for the glasses because he puts his lights up, right? Imagine if it was also empowered with, with Mario's gear. You can imagine the kind of damage output you could have. Cool. 
1600. What's wrong with you? Your color is weird. Oh, whatever. I'll still win this fight, no problem. For the finale, one KO punch. I never I never noticed that before. I have fallen. Come so far. So far to lose. Hey, you just acted like me. That doesn't mean you are me. You're no match for the real deal, original Bowser. Dark. Even with the dark power completed, the unthinkable happened. Right, you... Lost. Dang, Bowser's so freaking good. <laughs> oh, it's a freaking wrap. The Dark Star... It's finally gone. Yeah, pretty tough dude all around. <laughs> like I would say, I would say hardly. Uh, but that's kind of what happens when you go and grind for the best stuff. I can't believe we actually managed to get the badge for Mario and Luigi. Sixteen hundred damage. Sixteen hundred damage on that attack. Uh, so you can't imagine how you might be able to get through that last fight in the gauntlet. And the princess? Is she alright? Oh yeah, I forgot. Now I can kidnap her. <laughs> Oops, I said too much. <laughs> oh crud, I forgot you almost... Dang, dang Chippy. I almost forgot that I'm a bad guy. <laughs> Why the failing? Oh no! Oh my gosh, dude, you're still around? What, you're still at it? You mustaches. With... Why? Fury, whenever. Waffle just wanted some kingdom conquering. Waffle tried. Waffle gave the 110%. Waffle worked the overtime. Waffle was the team player. Waffle put in the hours. Waffle got the hands dirty. But every time, always, the mustaches arrive. Always in Fawful's way. Always, always, always. Look, give up already. Seriously, get over it. Be done with evil. I have remorse. Fawful understands. Fawful gives up. Fawful will disappear with no troubles. Sounds good. No more evil, okay? Here Fawful goes. The disappearing. Forever disappearing. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> Genuinely, really grim end for Fawful. He, like, <laughs> blows himself up in one last attempt to kill Mario and Luigi. <laughs> Oh, Peach. <laughs> Mario! Woohoo! Luigi, wake up. Everyone's out. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Peach didn't say Luigi. Yahoo! Luigi! Oh. Okay, well, that's cute. <laughs> Starlow. Everyone's okay. 
How wonderful. How about you all? How about you all? Ah, well, c could we be? Yes, we made it out of Bowser's body. I mean, we, we've been out of Bowser's body. We just didn't tell anybody else. <laughs> Looks like Fawful's final ploy failed at last. His last ditch explosion rescued us all. Oh gosh, that's, that's... Oh, Fawful, you are the most useless guy. <laughs> I love Fawful so much. Oh, his existence is just so pathetic. Everyone, thank you. You've saved our dear Mushroom Kingdom. Uh, it's true that Bowser would not have been able to accomplish any things that he, all any of the things he was accomplishing without us, and that is sort of the. I like how it is a team up game between Mario, Luigi, and Bowser. Bowser just doesn't know it's a team up game. <laughs> he thinks that he did all of this on his own. You saved our dear Mushroom Kingdom, Princess. Oh, Princess, such joy! You are safe. Oh, Princess, it's so good to see you get to be a character again. Good heavens, I hope that doesn't happen in the next game and the game after that. <laughs> Simply a wash with relief. What? What? The, what is this? What, what? Why did Green Stash and Mario come out of my gut? Listen, I'd advise you to not think about it too deeply, okay? It's all in the past, and, and what you don't know won't hurt you. Wait, you? That voice, Chippy? You're telling me you're Chippy? Yep, your minion. <laughs> oh dear. Good gracious, no, not again. Princess Flea. Mario Luigi. Boy, not. Master's Mario and Luigi are sure to trounce him. Sorry, Bowser. We. I grinded Mario and Luigi to 40, and you're only 31, so. I know you had a big epic final fight, but I'm not. This isn't looking too good, man. Mario! Luigi! Good luck. I've had him. Have yourself some kind of hoe down to my body? My body? <laughs> I've never been so disgusted. No way I stand for this. So this time, I'm taking your precious princess. Let's go! Okie dokie. I love it. <laughs> and see, at first you're like, oh, are they really gonna have us fight Bowser one more time? Oh, we get to see it though in the credits. That's awesome. And that's that's Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. I, oh my gosh, I'm getting a little misty. I love this game. It's so good. Good heavens, Luigi. <laughs> Bowser saves the kingdom, gets beaten with hammers. <laughs> um, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. I think it's not without its flaws, for sure. I think sometimes the pacing is a little weird. Not nearly as bad as Partners in Time, though. Overall, I'm not phased by the pacing. I could see how other people might be. There are a couple moments where you're like, okay, are we finally out of this area? Are we finally out of this area? And then they're like, well, no, now you gotta do- now, now Bowser's locked here, and you gotta do something with the brothers. And it's like, well, crud, I, I just got to a point where I wanted to do something with Bowser. Oh, it's the area themes. That, that's the cave. Oh my gosh, Yoko, did you make a remix for the credits that's all the music you did in the whole game? That's freaking crazy if that's true. <laughs> Yo, shout out to all the people who freaking designed the, the, like, the enemy gra graphics and stuff. Incredible animation work. Oh, all of Bowser's minions having to carry him out. You know, I am curious what the side story with the with the three main minions that we meet a bunch. Oh, that's a wonderful little image down there. I am curious what a oh, music Yoko Shimamura. Thank you so much, Yoko. It phenomenal, one of your best, and that's crazy because you make Kingdom Hearts music, and that's and that that stuff is insane. Um, <laughs> Oh, look at the- hey, Fa forgot one thing, he trashed the Mushroom Kingdom. Look at those castles. Oh, I love it. Because it's the top screen and bottom screen. It's focusing on 
both parties, because the brothers are always the bottom and Bowser's always on the top screen, so that's, that's a really nice detail. Oh, Bowser trying to get nosed back to hell. Oh, poor guy. After everything he went through, he gets trashed by the Mario Brothers one more time. I do like the note that it ends on, though, because I, I this is this last bit has always stuck with me. Oh, the main theme, except with a bit of a march behind it. That's fun. Uh, Fawful, the inclusion of Fawful was fantastic. It works out so well. He's such a good villain for the game, and his end is as pathetic as it should be. So, uh, King Bowser, how are you feeling? Listen, we, we want to rejoin as minions. So it was an extreme error of judgment to trust Fawful. Oh, you mean you guys weren't brainwashed like everybody else in the castle? You just straight up aligned yourself with Fawful? Oh. That's crazy betrayal. What is your- does your side story actually like- <laughs> Add some character- more characterization to you three? Cause screw you otherwise. <laughs> We offer our unflinching, unflinching allegiance back to you. Message from Princess Peach. Who disturbs me? Hey, chase that stupid bird out of here now. Your rottenness, it's, a, it's from Peach's castle. Peach's castle. From Peach, apparently. Wait, Private Goomp, Sergeant Guy, and Corporal Paraplonk. You mutineers are still here. Get out of here this instant. What? Package from Princess Peach to the large angry Bowser guy. Hmm. <laughs> Hello, yellow. What the- you? What do you want? I thought you might attack Peach's castle again, so... I came to check on you. Hey, my cast got trashed too, you know. That's my next project. Remodeling's not evil. <laughs> That's a great attitude. Shut up, go away. <laughs> These two. I I think I think uh I think Starlord likes them. Like genuinely. Yes, yes, I'm going. Enjoy your present from Princess Peach. No, I don't want it. Your ungratefulness. Won't you won't open it? Quiet, you go 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 get back to work. Do, do just do something useful. <laughs> Sheesh, take it easy. And you minions too, go fix my castle. Us minions, you mean we're back in? Yes, just get to it. Next time you better pull your weight beating Mario. I love that. Bowser Bowser loves his minions, even when they betray him and throw him into a safe and try to dispose of him permanently and try to get him killed. He's like, nah, yeah, my minions, and I love you. Just go fix up my castle, please. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hmm. You have to think about this for a moment. It seems like a small little cute ending, and it is, right? I like how they're playing the main theme. But what does Mario always get in, ma in, in many of the games? Mario gets a cake. You know, Mario 64. 
Peach says, hey Mario, I baked you a cake. Come over and eat some cake. And then, so Mario and Luigi, they're always getting, that. that's always a thing Peach offers them as a sort of like, nice reward, you know, as a sort of like a nice gesture. Bowser doesn't get that. Bowser never gets that because of course he's the one usually doing the bad stuff. So you have to imagine for Peach to go out of her way despite everything to acknowledge what Bowser did for them in the whole of Mushroom Kingdom. This gesture in the context of like all of Mario is kind of beautiful and really really heartwarming. And again, this is me, this is me like I'm I'm, I'm reading a lot into it, right? But it's one of those things when you're telling stories and stuff like that, the details are what people hang on to. You may not register these things that carry over from one game to another. They're all platformers. They're all like 3D platformers. They're fun little cutesy games. And it's not about the story, right? However, when you find these little moments to inject into your goofy, funny little, little games, right? It gives them so much heart, genuine heart, that it's, you know, it hits you. It hits you just right, you know? And I think this was a moment that always stuck with me. Because Bowser, <laughs> despite who he is, d despite himself time and time again, he, he keeps managing to do the right thing, almost, almost on accident. And it's nice to see him get a little bit of recognition for that. You have done well. I have watched you. I will show you your ranks. Yes, of course there was. I think this is when I discovered that there was another rank for the everybody because it show it shows the last thing at the end. Of course, getting to final boss rank on Bowser would have been cool, would have been great, would have been awesome. Um, however, it just is it's a lot more feasible on the brothers because the brothers have so much more to do in the in the last third of the game than Bowser ends up having to do. And there's, no, there's like not a good grind spot for Bowser, to be honest. I am less than amazed. Oh, I am less than amazed. But you can try again. You're less than amazed? I only didn't get max rank on one dude. Reach higher ranks. Good things await. And now, I go. Nintendo. Could you make a whole RPG centering around Bowser of all guys? Evidently, you could. <laughs> and it's pretty freaking cool. <laughs> Um, I mean, it's so compact, it's so tight, and yet it feels like the world is so much to go do and see. It's not as detailed, it's not as full of side things, it's not as backtrackable as Superstar Saga, and yet I enjoyed going through it once as Bowser and again as the Brothers, because the, the recontextualizing it for, like, on brother scale is so good, you know? Um... What a genuinely great game. 36 hours. I mean, this 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 one's got legs, you know? Um, I've heard that Brothership is around like a 30-hour experience. I expect Dream Team to be about the same. Although I've heard that... I have heard that the areas in Dream Team tend to drag a little bit. So, you know. I'm, uh... I'm... I am... I am... I'm interested in seeing it because it'll be my first time playing that game. I'm going to go in with, try to go in with an open mind, but I'm going to, you know, brace myself for, you know, it, it's another, it's an, here's, here's the thing, right? I'm like, maybe the, maybe the whole series is just hills and valleys, you know? Because Superstar Saga sets such a high bar of like, it, it, set, it sets the bar and it doesn't mean that like, this is the bar that you, it, and, and, and that's not to say me and, my, me and my friend talked about this too. It sets the bar for what a Mario and Luigi game can be, and that doesn't mean that every Mario and Luigi game needs to be that game. It just means that like there is a baseline level of wow, you can hit this and it's so good. 
so we should be trying to hit in that go in that direction and then we played partners in time and that game was kind of freaking boring <laughs> it, it was really dull and not very interesting and not very well designed and it took a lot of things away this game injects the series injected the series with a lot of that same whimsy and light and um <clears throat> and mechanical uh, and interesting mechanics and and um design uh and style that superstar saga had while giving it but it has its own flair it has its own personality it has its own sort of vibe you know um and so it 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 isn't just doing I think what that's the cool thing about this game. It's not just doing Superstar Saga again. It's doing Mario and Luigi again, and it's just it's, and it's rediscovering what that could mean, you know. To, to in, in Partners in Time, to Partners in Time's credit, I think the idea of having four individual characters who can do things together is interesting. I just don't think they did anything with that. The attacks in this game are so much more interesting. And Partners in Time would have benefited from that. And then not to mention, this game has a whole entire third character. And it's sort of like, they focus on designing one extra full character uh, in Bowser. And having him have his own whole slew of mechanics and abilities that he does, you know? The way you traverse the world is different. Um, the way you handle fights is different. The way you attack is different. The way you defend is different. Um, the kinds of things you're fighting is different, you know? And, and, and it... And it's, it was very good. Um, meanwhile, for Mario and Luigi, they they gave them, you know, they injected new life into their gameplay by giving you a bunch of 2D sections. And while I don't think all the 2D sections are fantastic, I think that when, like, especially the last one, when the areas that were really leaning into it being 2D, those ones were the best. I think the final area is probably the best one, which is good, because it means you end on a high note, you know? Uh, Peach's Castle is actually a great dungeon. It's very long. It is very long. I think maybe it drags on a bit too much. There's a little bit of, like, rubber banding back and forth of, like, oh, we're, we're, like, we're chasing after a guy, oh, and the guy walks away. Oh, we're chasing after a guy, and the guy walks away. Oh, we're chasing after a guy, the guy walks away. It's like, uh, okay, all right. To a point where, you know, we know Fawful takes the power, uh, Dark Bowser is out of Bowser's body, and then there was like no direction there was just uh okay we need to find Fawful and I'm like and I had literally had a moment where I was like okay where where is he we've filled out the entire map w where is he <laughs> you know um it was man really good time though just a really good time uh well with that that was Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. Next time, we move on to Dream Team. And I'll probably start to sprinkle more episodes of Metaphor V Fantasio finally on the weekends once more. Uh, I have not forgotten about it. <laughs> uh, will I do the gauntlet for this one? Maybe as a bonus part. Maybe this will be one of those back burner things where it's like, oh, if I need a, if I need a video... You know, to, if I if I need to fill in some space in between a new series, I can come back here try to redo that gauntlet. Seems like it'd be really freaking hard, but I mean, I, I could certainly try. Um, Nintendo, everybody on the team, Yoko Shimamura, thank you. Great game, one of my favorites, always will be. <laughs> Re reconfirmed in my mind that this game it will always be one of my favorites. Um, it's always great to go back to a previous game that that you've played before and like I had the same experience with Star Fox Assault where I was like you know I grew up and I was like I hadn't touched it in a while I used to play that game a lot too and I was like in my mind I was like I know that this game isn't like as good as I as it felt when I was a kid obviously like obviously it's gonna have its flaws obviously it's, you know like the, maybe the narrative's not gonna hit like it like it did maybe the gameplay's not gonna hit as it did and then I played it randomly um, I was trying to unlock stuff in it so me and my friends could play the multiplayer together. And I played through it again, um, a couple, like a year back. And it was, it was phenomenal. I was like, oh wait, hold on, this is like one of my favorite games. This is like one of the best Star Fox games, period. Like this, this might be my favorite one. It's actually, it's actually incredible. Um, so it always feels, it's, it always feels very nice when you return to something, whether it's a movie or a book or a game. 
um, or uh, or like an album, right? And, and when you return to something after a long time, and you're like, oh wait, no, this thing is just good. No, this thing is actually very good. You know, like for instance, I used to listen. To, I used to listen to Passion Pit all the time. Um, but then, you know, sometimes I'll go back and listen to Passion Pit again, and I'm like, no, no. I mean, this is dramatic. This is goopy. This is uh. It is over the top, it is dramatic, it is goopy sometimes, but and yet, and yet, I could easily listen to any of their songs in, because they kind of just pop off, you know? Um, sometimes, sometimes that thing that you remember being amazing, you remember, you remember that it being amazing because it was just amazing, you know? <laughs> so, good time. Until next time, don't forget to be kind. Don't be afraid to change your mind. Hit the bells, thumbs up, comment, do all the stuff, share, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> uh, links in the description of things that I am doing, have been doing, or will be doing. Me and my friend making a game, any all support towards it would be much appreciated. You can support us by supporting anything on this channel, supporting the devlog streams, most of all supporting the Patreon with that. So long. I gotta get started, I gotta make, uh, I gotta make a border. For... For, uh, Dream Team. I'll have to look up. I have I've never touched Dream Team, so I'll just have to like look up what the menus and stuff in that game look like. I might whip up something. I might whip up something a little, a little like quick and dirty, to be completely honest. So I can just get into actually playing the game. You know, we'll see. We'll see. Depends on what the vibe is. I don't even know what the aesthetic of that game is. I don't know what the style is. Obviously, that. That's gonna be our first game where it takes a dramatically, it, it goes into a dramatically different direction uh, for the art style. I know that much. Um, that game actually uses that game is actually 3D. I'm pretty sure. Well, it has like a 2D three, like like a 2D on 3D kind of look, where like everything is the, the environments are 3D and the characters are 3D too, I believe. But they they style them to kind of look 2D esque, like painterly almost. So we'll see how that feels. Um, show still has amazing animation. Well, maybe it doesn't. Who's to say? 